Tom, it's Nick and Sam. We just got done doing some shopping at Walmart here down in Crawley or something like that, Louisiana. Uh, I-10 exit 82. Um, man, we hit a rainstorm. It's funny, everybody else stayed inside and we're like, screw it. We got to change the clothes in our truck. We only got to go from like where our truck is to like, you guys can see, there's a store. And look at the puddles. So yeah, we had to run from over there all the way back here to the truck. And it was funny because everybody's like hunkered down indoors and we're like, ah, fuck it. Who cares? You know, come on, man. Man up. So anyway, so we went shopping and we got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, got Sam some new shoes. So the shoes she just wore won't be used anymore. Um, we got some more meat. Um, we got some stuff to do some baking and stuff like that. We got some TV shows to watch, a couple more movies, another thing to hold movies, some more CDs, because uh, we have a CD player in the truck, even though we do use my XM. Um, and then I'll have Sam probably do a video of everything we got. She'll probably just do a video or something like that. So I'm going to sign out of here. I'm going to get us back on the road. We got a lot of time before tomorrow, but I want to get about 40 miles down the road uh, to the X. Chalefa, Hala Hala, Huda Huda, uh, Bow Bridge, Louisiana rest area, which is about 40 miles down the road. So that's what we're planning on shutting down because I don't feel like hitting a truck stop. We stopped there, we spent money. Uh, we just spent like 140 bucks today just on everything we got. But part of that was I had to get Sam's shoes. I promised her next time we had time, I had to get my, ga my gal some pretty shoes. I mean, she's pretty special, that's all right. Probably back there giving me the finger. So I'm going to sign off and Get a head shop in the men's department because there's no women's shoes size. Have you seen the girls down here? Do they no. look like they're girls? That's why they were all sold out. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> hey everybody, just gonna show you the fresh meats we got this time. We got some pork and chicken Italian sausage, mild Italian. And then we got some more pork boneless stew meat. We got two of those I believe. Yeah. Oh, there's the other one. And then we also got some chuck tender steak. We'll do that up on our little grill. That'll be good. So that is the meat that we got. We also are going to attempt to make some brownies. And we are going to try some more corn. We got jiffy this time, so we're going to try to do the corn muffin mix like that. And then we got oatmeal cookie mix too. We'll try to make like a little like oatmeal brick thingy that'll be fun so that is our plan for food here shortly hi everybody this is hey wait this is nick what the hell am i doing a sam intro for <laughs> i just got poked by the cheeto anyways so we get a lot of things and I, I love everybody that sits here and says we get a 10 for 10 for effort for trying new things and what we're going to do is we're going to try to make brownies in the truck. Yes, sir, brownies. Even if you screw them up, you still take a spoon to them. They're brownies. <laughs> okay. So what we decided to do is we picked up at our Walmart stop today some fudge brownies that are already in the package. And as you can see, if I can get it right here, it only takes a little oil, some water, and an egg. And since we don't like playing with eggshells, we basically just picked up some all egg whites. And it does tell you somewhere on here. Oop, oop, there it is. Uh, it says basically three tablespoons equals one egg and then we've got of course the smallest little vegetable oil you got and of course I'm just gonna spray the pan real quick and what we did is we picked up for 99 cents you can pick these up there are three of them um, we picked I picked this size I couldn't find a metal pan I just figured what the hell big enough it'll fit in the Burton which is way down there it's plugged in up here and it's on high so we're gonna warm that up and I guess this is going to be cooking with Nick today. Sam's going to do dinner, aren't you? You're going to it's do. It's baking with Nick and cooking with Sam, or grilling with Sam. Since it's the holiday, I'm going to grill. And on that note, we're going to go back to this. So um, I'm going to hand Sam the camera here in a second, and we'll go from there, I guess. Um, so one thing I wanted to show you is at Walmart they had this really cool set of measuring cup and spoon set. I think it was only like three, four bucks. Um, that's the little label there and what it is is it comes up with these really cool like this one where it's a two-thirds but if you look inside I don't know if you can see it it says one-third so you can they're two level cups so when you only need like a third or whatever it's got that on all of them so you know like the quarters also the eighth space so, saving 
space saving in that. And then it also came with teaspoons and the tablespoon. So since we only need uh, the uh, third cup and the tablespoon, and I'll clean that up later, we'll go from there. <laughs> so we'll start off with our brownie mix if we get this open today. And we got it open. Hey, look, we're doing good. Now let's see. So it says oil, water, and egg and stir 50 times. So I guess what we'll do is we'll start with the water. It says third cup, or... Nobody shake the truck, we're measuring. <laughs> All right, they said two of the water. Come on, we should, got, we should get a little water bottle so when we're doing stuff like this, just refill them with this. Uh -huh. I deal with it when I'm cooking. You're dealing with it when There's you're baking. There's a difference, this truck doesn't move when I'm baking. <laughs> Again. Chef's prerogative. I'm the chef. It's my prerogative. Aren't you the baker today? Bake this little Miss Muffin. <laughs> You're my easy bake cheddar. Alright, now we're going to try the egg. Our egg whites. Yes, ma'am. Something different. Doesn't that just look yummy? <laughs> You're lucky it's not the yellow part. You'd be like, oh, seriously, ooh. <laughs> this is cooking in the truck. You want to do this? I know. You giggle, Miss Chuckles. And then what do we got? We still got oil. We got to do oil. Yeah. Oil's the big one here. This is how you truckers grease their arteries, people. It's the oil. We put oils in our trucks. We put oils in our cheese. We put oils in damn yeah, whatever. And this is a third of a cup. Oh man. See, this is live TV, folks, or as close to damn live as you're going to get. Oh, look at that first time. Get a special lemon charge over here. Crap. Okay, now a third of a cup. Look at my skills. I can pour at a high altitude. Oh, whatever. While well, the truck is moving. The truck's not moving, Nicholas. It's parked. Thanks, Sam. Yummy, let's eat. And I think when we make homemade ones, it's so much nicer. Alright, so I guess I'll set that back there. Finish making sure Sam's eggs are all in there because yum yum Sammy's eggs. Sorry people, we don't have any like flavors like vanilla or walnuts. We're just because this is a test batch, we didn't want to go all in on like trying stuff we haven't done before. I'm gonna be nice and Sam's gonna yell at me. Yes, no goes. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to get it in there. Stuff shifted. Just. just. I'm going to get the look and add to later. <laughs> All right. Yum, yum. Time to mix this up. My impersonation of Sam and half the videos I've watched that I had to edit. Hey, look, I put a dent in it. I'm going to get my ass handed to me later. There will be no side dishes with dinner tonight because Sam's going to make me suffer with just one meal and one meal only. All right. I guess I should be the idiot that likes to spoon today, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great. All right. There's like brownies. <laughs> so, yeah. now we're going to take it. Wonderfully chocolatey goodness. You gonna be able to follow me, Sam? Yeah, I just don't hit my head again. <laughs> We're going down to the ground. I get on my knees for my viewers. <laughs> all right, can you see me all right? Yeah. Now let's see how I did on the pan. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Guess what? It'll still be a brownie. <laughs> It still counts. It still counts. I know. It still counts as a brownie because usually we just knife and fork it. Alright, so now. Set a timer. I'm gonna give it a half hour to start. 
You give me faces like that and I'll invite you to dinner. So what am I doing, darling? Well, Sam, from what I understand, you're going to use our really special Cooltron cool griddle and throw on some bratwursts or whatever type thingies. They're not beer brats, boys and girls, because unfortunately beer and trucks don't mix, especially because it's a company vehicle. But Sam is going to see how many sausages she can fit <laughs> on the griddle at one time. We are seeing this for the first time because this is the first time we're doing this, actually. <laughs> she can get them out of the package. Are we having technical cheddar difficulties? Nope. Okay, well, I guess you can do three, right? It looks like we can do three, yeah. It's funny as it's picking one of the wieners to hyper focus on. Do, 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 do. Never mind. <laughs> we don't know how long these are going to take, so we'll just close it on down and let it cook. Okay everyone, so Sam had to go do some stuff real quick, and what I did is I basically, I flipped them. Um, I took, this end was actually down here, and I just basically just flipped them so that the end that's still a little not cooked is up where all the heat is, and I just did that to all three. Um, we're looking at probably about, oh, about eight minutes so far, ten minutes so far, somewhere in there. We're just going to close it up and... Alright people, so it's been about a half hour, and I'm going to pop this out and ah, she's still pretty wet so what I'll do is it smells like fudge brownies we'll flip it around there and we'll throw it in for another half hour there we go hi everybody okay well she she's over here reading somehow I got well yeah anyways yeah no, I was just say whip. But anyways, <laughs> um, as you can see, they're getting nice and brown. I flipped them end again, again and rotated them um, because it seems up here is the hottest part. So we're just kind of keeping rotating them. We're keeping our sausage warm by keeping them together, and we're just gonna probably go for a little bit longer. I don't know how much longer. Okay. So you want to say that again for the record? They smell wonderful. Okay, later we'll see how the sausage feels in your mouth. <laughs> I mean, how it tastes. Yes, that's yeah, a problem. Yeah, yeah, we have to be PG here. Nah, we're rated something, but... <laughs> yeah, okay, on that note. Alrighty, let's see, it's been a while. Probably over two hours. Closer to probably two and a half. And as you can see, it's starting to look like brownies. And I guess we'll just take this and we'll stick it in. Uh, well, guess what? Yeah, it's still got a while to go. All right, so we've had this going for actually a couple of hours now, and uh, uh, well, it it looks it looks similar to a brownie. Of course, like I said, we're in the Burton, so this is whoops. As you can see, it looks like a brownie. As always, eh, still sticky in the middle. Hmm. I don't know what to say about this. So we're rolling, I take it? Yeah. Okay. Well, since we've had a really good response to people wanting our brats, um, we decided we, since we have some steak, and I did mention we were going to do some steak, um, we have some steak medallions or whatever you want to call them. And uh, we're just going to take and do a little garlic pepper on them. Yes, it looks like a lot, but we like garlic bread. It keeps the like beer truck drivers away. <laughs> right, Sam? Yeah. Anyways, it's only we're going to do one side. You, you can do both, but we're only going to do the one. So, there's that. And we've taken the Cooltron griddle and we sprayed a little non-stick on it mm -hmm. and of course we have the tongs dirty so what I'm gonna do because I'm resourceful I'm not sticking it if you notice I'm just gonna go under it so I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna stick them on there like this I'm not gonna poke them at all you don't want to poke the meat again cooking with Nick <laughs> so I will take that close that down make sure it's done and there we go. So, I don't have a napkin. Oh, well, I'll just sit it back there for now. So, we'll give it some time. 
Um, and just to let you guys know, we gave up on the brownies. They're behind Sam. They're cooling. We're going to see if they've stiffened up at all. I think, what do you want to say, three hours? Closer, Closer to, four. to four. So about four hours. We're going to let them cool. They're kind of, they're, they're the softer brownies. So maybe because, but then again, you know what? When we do the cookie, like the mega cookie, when we put it in two tins and we'll actually put it in the regular Burton. Just let you guys know, the lunchbox seems to be a hell of a lot better at baking. So we'll try that. So the Burton stove or the Burton oven, not so good. It's more for just warming up food. I'd have to give it the warming status, not the hot status or the baking. Right. So this we love, the Cooltron griddle we love, um, the crockpot we love, we give a thumbs up, and the lunchbox we give a thumbs up. At this point, the Burton oven, good for warming up for the both of us, like enchiladas or stuff we've prepared the day before. So on that note, we're going to get out of here. We'll be back in a little bit um, and see how these steaks are doing. Mmm, slowly starting to look like steak. And of course the little one, go figure. But the other two coming along nice. I just flipped them and rotated them. So see how much longer. So far, not doing too bad. Alrighty, well, there they are. I'm going to let them rest for a bit. But I can tell you right now, they smell good and they're probably going to be good too. So I apologize if we don't get any video. I'm just waiting on. I'm just waiting on Sam to get her butt back in the truck. So, well, when. The rest of dinner gets squared up, we can eat. So, uh, sorry guys, we just don't like to show you uh, us eating, but, you know, there you go. That steak's on a little uh, cool trend. And, of course, that's about how dirty it got. So, not too bad. And, uh, let's see if I can pull the tray out a little bit. That's, oop, oop. that's all the juices from the steaks. So, not bad. Didn't overflow. So, I'm gonna get out of here, but yep, steaks on the Cooltron. Okay, well, I know we kind of been humming and hawing about the brownie, and for the most part, as amazingly as it sounds, um, it came out in one piece. Um, I kind of pulled the edges a little wide, and you know, we're talking it came out of the pan, so um, Sam's not here, and uh, Guess I will be brave, and um, you guys will just. I think it's more of a fudge brownie, but you know what? I think for the most part, I'm gonna call it cooked. Um, so about say four hours in the burden. Here we go. Definitely needs to cool off, but uh, as you see, yeah. So, yeah, brownie definitely needs to cool off. I'm Cheeto and I approve of this message. Oh, come on! What the hell?